What are we doing? We are well equipped with some of our beer. Here we go. Ooh. Let's go get Said. He's in the ocean right now. Mm -hmm. A lot of fun without us. Here's my friend Said. He's right there. I have to zoom in on him here. It's on the beach over there somewhere. Where are you yeah, from? What's up? I'm a Migugin. Oh, shit. <laughs> What's up? I'm a. Uh, see your nipples. It's too easy. Want to have beer? What do you do for a living? I fucking am lit. <laughs> <laughs> What is this? Coal? We got coal. Coal. What's wrong? We got coal. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. uh, 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 are we going to put it in this box? Then what are you doing? <laughs> giggle, 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 giggle. I love that. He doesn't know where he's going. He just, <laughs> he, I think he might be walking back towards that sign. <laughs> Right now we're at Turnbrow Brewing and we're about to go have a brewery tour. What do they what do they specialize in here? They specialize in German beer, it's fantastic. Uh. And into the glass. It's still hazy because mm. I just recently started cooling it down. Looks that will go away after a few days. Actually that's the wrong glass for this kind of beer. <laughs> okay. This is a wheat beer glass, <laughs> but uh, we'll make an exception here. I already commented on it. Commented on that. It, it will take a few days. Ah. 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 The last time, probably in Shincheon. Yeah, how many but years ago? I, was I there? And no, you were not there. Uh, we were in Shincheon. How many years ago? You were right, around seven. This is the aftermath of the day after a long day spent at the beach. It was a much needed break because we had our first day off for the first time in a really long time. We've been in a bit of a transition period with our employees. We had a couple guys leave. Transition period before the two new guys the replacement guys came in. This month was a good month for us. It's been just a couple months since we put our beer on tap. So it's on tap now and the sales are going up and it's a good time to celebrate that month. Here at Songjung Beach, our first few batches we had to dump. So like, you know, we, we brewed the beer like back to back. So by the time we got to taste our first batch, we had already made three batches. And of those three batches, we had to throw away two of them. Along the way, like we, Met a guy, uh, we met a few guys who were super helpful to us. We call them our beer senseis. Showed us some techniques and help us tune in, help us fine tune the, the process of brewing. Easier fashion the way we had to do it. Yeah, actually, I like to wear. We have another logger that's coming in, like these beers. We had some consulting with a guy who kind of showed us the ropes of how to use the equipment a little bit better. And so those beers and the future beers that we brew are all going to come out just a little bit better. Uh, yeah, Jared, a fellow American, a guy who used to brew for Dado here in Korea. Hi, I'm uh, Jared Thatch from Daegu. I uh, helped start Dado Brewing uh, three years ago, and I'm here to help uh, work out some kinks at the Wildcat Brewing, and hopefully we'll get some more good beer to you guys in Busan. Showed us a lot of techniques. Uh, Andy, a guy who owns another brewery out here in Songjung, he's also given us some very helpful tips. Ryan from Galmegi, like, he gave us so much help and <laughs> he's like an encyclopedia when it comes to brewing, you know. The community here, at least the, for the foreigners, the, the foreigners of the community here for the brewing community are all super friendly and it's, it's, I think it's like a good business to be in. Although, it's definitely not an easy business to be in. We were very fortunate to meet our beer sensei. I think by working with someone done the process like that and can show you the ropes will save this a whole lot of trouble down the line. Still good the next day. Tastes better yesterday though, that's for sure. Every morning I'm still teaching a class at Jujutsu Land. Been six months now since I got surgery for my ACL, and so I've recently just started training Jujutsu again, even though I probably shouldn't be training just yet. And so I've kind of adapted by hiding my 
bum leg behind me. And since I have to kind of use that type of posture, I end up just wrestling for the most part. But sometimes you roll with one of your students like here, and he puts you in a really dangerous situation. And you have moments of pure terror when you're rolling when these types of situations arise. We're gonna catch a cab to rehab, rehab rehabilitation for my knee. Welcome to the day. The rehab center moved to a new location, so I'll show you guys how nice it is. It's super nice. The old place was nice too, but this place is kind of luxurious. The only problem is it takes like <laughs> it takes a long time to get here, so I can't really come here more than once a week. The rehabilitation process for an ACL injury is just so slow. It just takes so long to get back to where you were. My physical therapist, he's like my knee mentor. He teaches me how to get me back on track as quickly as possible to recover my knee. Gonna have to make space for these puppies. We don't have a whole lot of freezer space these days. We're seriously ready to sell probably this weekend. This is batch number number four. It's a little bit under carb. Probably still sell it this weekend. So we got like a lager style, got an IPA. A lot of the brewing processes, since I am actually a home brewer who's turned into a, I don't know if I can call myself a pro brewer yet, but I'm trying, you know, I'm trying really hard to make some good beer. We really just need to start selling the beer because they're pretty much all ready and we're almost, we're almost good to go, you know? We're almost there. It's too dark, let me turn some lights on so I show you guys around. When you're a home brewer and stuff, like you don't really know how all the equipment works. I mean, just to kind of figure it out on the fly. And uh, sometimes you break stuff, you know, because you don't really know how to use stuff properly. Like, uh, look at this guy. I used him about four times. I used him about four times before I broke him which is another $400 mistake. But let's uh, try to figure out how to use all this stuff, like this heat exchanger. This guy right here, he likes to clog. I have a lot of fights with him. I made this for the people who don't want to drink IPAs, but honestly, I don't really like lagers that much. All right, let's get a beer that I really like, right? And this sucker is the IPA. But this is the type of beer that I like. Uh, it's only like 2 p.m., but you know, sometimes you gotta give a taste, make sure everything's tasting all right. I feel pretty good about this one. Like we're gonna be selling this one. This is the type of beer that I like. Guys, I have a lot of errands to run, but with your help, we'll make quick work of this, right? A while, it's been a while since we've done this together, right? And when we get done working together, I'll give you a nice cold pint of beer. Oh, hops. You know, after this one brew on Sunday, we're probably not gonna be brewing for a while, so <laughs> we've got a lot of hops here. It's just gonna be sitting in the freezer. We got our yeast, Sapphire US05. Right now we're just trying to keep things as simple as possible. We're not propagating yeast, we're not using liquid yeast, we're just using dry yeast. Get a few consistent batches out of it, we'll probably start exploring a little bit, but for now, it seems like a lot of people use this yeast and uh, all road neutral ale yeast. Sounds exactly like what we need. Stop. Well, 500 gram bricks, so for you homebrewers out there, I mean, this would last a long time. When we throw a whole batch, we usually chunk one of these in and it's usually about enough. Get it moving good. That's three CO2 tanks and we got three coming in to replace them. So we just kind of go back and forth on the CO2 tanks. Guys, that's a wrap for here. We're gonna head off to uh, Actually, I broke the work grant I showed you guys earlier. Yeah, so Gorilla is a brewery that's pretty close by and they happen to be shipping something from the same manufacturer that we owned, ordered our brewery from. Manufacturer and they're like, hey, listen, there's already like something going to Busan. There's these guys named Gorilla Brewing. Have you heard of them? Well, of course I've heard of them. <laughs> Us to put the work grant into their container ship for free. So it got a free ride. Super grateful to the guys who allowed this. Uh, you know, they don't owe me anything and I certainly uh, am in debt to them. So I'm thankful for that. Why don't you just tell me what you're going to do. We didn't have a whole lot of rest days this month, but it's been a good month and my knee's coming back strong. You know, in about a month, I'm gonna be training hard. I'm really looking forward to joining the evening class. I'm gonna have the best year yet and I'm willing to work hard to make that happen. Just hope the time passes quickly 
so that he can get back on the mat soon.